Yo what's up guys, Bryce here and we're back at it again for another video and in this video I'm going to be doing a hot lap guide of Red Bull Ring. This track is in Austria, it's about 2.5 miles long, it has 10 corners, a lot of straights and hard braking zones so it makes it really nice for passing and overall just a really fun track. I'm going to be driving the Lamborghini around here but pretty much everything applies for all the other uh, GT3 cars and cars alike. So without further ado, let's get right into this. So going down into turn one, we're going to use the curb on the left, break really hard and late going into turn one, using this curb on the inside to sort of launch ourselves onto this straight here. Be careful with the curb on the inside, it can definitely unsettle the car, but you really want to use that because you can kind of just cut turn one, um, essentially, but the yellow sausage curb you want to avoid. Um, same thing going into turn two here, we're going to be braking at the 100 meter board really late. Uh, braking here, but you really just want to roll the car in get on the power as soon as you can watch out for the bump there There's a little bump and the rear end will get really light and that's just really not good because you you will activate uh, TC In the GT3 cars and then going down into turn four actually that last corner was turn three I'm um, going down to turn four breaking at the 100 meter board second gear I personally use first gear, but it's probably not the quickest way around um, using all the track there on the outside going into turn six right up here braking right before the 50 meter board this is a trail braking corner really easy on the brakes and you want to kiss this curb on the inside use the curb on the outside we're going to be going all along this curb so the next corner down into third gear um, use the throttle to rotate the car through this corner use the curb on the right and staying sort of the middle of the track here you can gain a little bit of time um, by not drifting out too far wide my favorite part of this whole track braking lightly at the 50 use the brakes to rotate the car in use the curb on the outside stay on the outside before you're gonna flick it to the inside down that little crest there and boom that is a lap of rebel ring now let's slow it down for more of a in-depth guide all right so going down into turn one this is an uphill corner so you can really keep this in mind because you can definitely break a little bit later than if it was a downhill corner um, I'm braking at the 100 meter board you can get away with braking a little bit later but again we want to be able to carry as much speed as we can through turn one um, so a late apex is ideal getting on the throttle as soon as you can is also another thing you want to be able to do um, use the curb on the left you can pretty much put the car um, on top of this curb on the left it's completely flat which is what we're going to be doing so you can see here we're going to be braking really hard, peaking at 90%, slowly releasing the brakes, and once we're off the brakes, back on the gas and using the curb on the inside. You can see our throttle trace is just nice and aggressive, just straight up. Um, you won't uh, get too much wheel spin in a GT3 car going into turn one. And in the league that I'm racing in, NARL, we're using high downforce, so that's the setup I'm using. So the lap times are going to be a little bit off um, from normal pace, and also it's really slow on the straights. So going down into turn three braking again right before the hundred i've braked later before but on this specific lap i've braked before the hundred meter board and this just allows me to slow the car down quicker and get on the power quicker which is really important when we're climbing this hill essentially you're really climbing and then after this corner here we're going to be going all downhill which is kind of cool when you think about it but again going into this corner at the hundred meter board use the curb on the left same thing as turn one once the curb starts to end first gear once you hit this curb, that's kind of your marker for getting back on the power. Um, use the track on the left. You pretty much want to just roll through this whole corner. Um, try to keep it as smooth as possible. Just the whole um, momentum of the car going through that corner. Use the curb on the outside. It can really um, help you there. Going down into turn four, this is a downhill corner. So you're definitely going to feel that you can't break as late as you can. But this corner is about slowing the car down as fast as you can and then rotating that rotating the car um, so you can get on power as quickly as you can and we're gonna be using the curb on the inside to sort of uh, hook ourselves into this corner and you'll see how we do that here braking before the 100 meter board using the curb on the left all these flat curbs you can use them without any problem here so you'll see here we're peaking basically at 100 percent a really hard braking zone and we're gonna be rotating the car in. You can see we hooked the right tire on the curb and that allows us to get a little bit more rotation. I use first gear, I think second is a little bit better, but just for my driving style, I use first because I feel like I can just get the extra bite with first gear and make sure you use the outside curb as well. You can definitely use a little bit more of that. Going into turn six, this corner is really tricky, um, especially in the Lamborghini, the rear end will get super light. So braking before the 50 meter board is where I'm braking. Again, using the curb on the right, and my strategy is to just slowly 
roll the car in and slowly turn the car into this corner. Don't do anything aggressive with the steering or the braking because that's when you will unsettle the car and you want the balance to just be perfect. It's downhill as well and you'll see here turning in right when we pass the 50. Get a kind of an early apex but really it's a late apex but try to hit the curb um, when it starts but it's still a late apex corner. Um, and then we're going to be using the curb on the outside here. Be careful. You don't want to go too far wide. There, The red and white is as far as you can go. I'm staying on the right hand side of the track. I'm staying on the right hand side of the track. It's really important because you can open up this corner a lot more. And once the curb ends, that's when I'm braking lightly. Um, not crazy light, but I'm braking pretty light compared to all the other corners. And then I'm going to be using the throttle and the brake to sort of balance the car and rotate the car into this corner. Um, here kind of want to take like a midline through here, but taking a late apex um, And again, you can use this curb on the inside to sort of rotate the car through and you can use a lot of this curb right here on the outside to um, Open up the track more essentially you can gain about three milliseconds of time if you go in the middle of the track here, You can see like I did there don't go all the way out to the outside curb because you'll lose a bit of time and then going into my favorite part of the track turn nine this is really about keeping up the minimum speed. This is all about keeping up speed here. Braking before the 50 meter board. And I think I downshift to third for that extra rotation as usual. And then we're gonna be turning the car in, flicking the car into this corner. Use this inside curb to kind of latch on to this corner. You can cut a little bit of you know the corner with the curb. Use this outside curb you have until the green and white. Stay on the outside here so you can open up this last corner, turn 10. Break a little bit, downshift, and you really want to clip the inside there. Right on the yellow is really where you want to clip that. Any more, if you go on top of the yellow, it's going to be off track. And that outside curb as well. Uh, be sure to be careful because if you do go outside the green and white on that last corner, you'll get a slowdown or even off track. So um, that's probably where you're going to be getting most of your off tracks. It's really tricky because... Um, track limits are kind of cruel around here. Um, they're not cruel, it's just you're carrying so much speed through those last few corners and it's also downhill, so naturally the car is going to be sliding a lot more. But that is Red Bull Ring, a really awesome track. It's not as interesting as some of the other tracks, but it provides great racing and it has a lot of long straights, hard braking zones, everything you need for nice races. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something from this. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.